Hey guys, so uh, our great Trollololo has made a new update on the chart and this time it is extended for 10 years the purple line so this is very interesting um, so uh, some thoughts on the chart and also I'm here in a forest in Africa so you might hear some interesting sounds from animals so um, the correction has started here in the right 2017 <laughs> right at the line when we started 2018 the correction starts this is a weekly average price uh, it's made two days ago average market uh, the market cap of our coins was about 500 billion still is today um, and we see that uh, right now the uh, price uh, of uh, this 500 billion is 191 percent above the average uh, well above the purple line and the purple line is a logarithmic curved line this is uh, a chosen curve by trollolo as i understand it he thinks this is how the market most likely will grow in this logarithmic style meaning uh, in this logarithmic curve meaning the growth goes down over time to tenfold always takes longer and beginning to tenfold was very quick because every every time you go uh, this is always times 10 but it always takes a little bit longer to do times 10 and so um, uh, but the logarithmic curve is uh, also based on the historical data of all values of all uh, values of the total market uh, and so it uh, it adjusts sometimes this purple line stretches up higher uh, goes higher and sometimes it's go lower based on new information and so you have to be careful with that um, but with all the information we have currently right now the prediction is that by in 10 years the value of all cryptocurrencies together will be between 10 and 100 trillion at half but you have to be careful here with the half because half is not half uh, I think half is higher than half um, because it also goes times 10 between these things so it's probably it, this is, is not 50 trillion but something around 70 trillion or so so that's the estimate that we will be in 10 years about uh, at 70 trillion is that a realistic estimate or is that really not correct this is a very important question to us because if this is not a good realistic estimate then well this fell the chart has not much value at, at least not the purple line and also not the spread information then eh? but i think just roughly estimated that this is a very realistic estimate 70 trillion because this is not the chump change guys <laughs> uh, the value of all um all euros in circulation now is about six or seven trillion um and uh, and, and and the same for the us dollar uh, about six or seven trillion uh, so all cryptos being valued in 10 years at 70 trillion well that's uh, a lot higher than the total value of us dollars and euros combined today uh, okay let's say in 10 years uh, the way these guys print and actually have to say have to give it to the central bankers but the amount of money that's printed over time goes down eh? the inflation rate goes down and it's a, a lot lower in the us and europe than in many other countries like in africa uh, here uh, in kenya here inflation is about 15 to 20 percent real inflation eh? uh, uh, in in europe and the uh, us it's only five percent uh, but that's because they print a lot less there but so um, uh, every 10 years uh, the amount of euros and US dollars in circulation goes up by about um, how much is it uh, well 5% per year so you're about uh, actually they print more they print about 7% per year more so that's about um, a doubling of the supply so um, we will have in 10 years in euros and US dollars a double amount so it's not 6 each or seven each but it will be like 
10, 12, uh, 14 each, so it will be about 30 uh, combined. Yes? So 30 trillion in 10 years will be the amount of US uh, dollars and euros in circulation. But all cryptos will be valued double that, at about 70 trillion. And so meaning cryptos are more valuable than, than the biggest currencies in the world combined. Huh? So um, by the time, of course, the Chinese yuan will be a lot more valuable maybe than the US dollar and the euro. So maybe all, 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 all fiat currencies combined will be at the same value then than all cryptocurrencies combined. Is it realistic? Yes, it is realistic. Uh, it is tremendous if that would happen, uh, but the way it's been growing, this is exactly what would happen if it continues to grow like this, but at a slower and slower rate over time, we will get there. And that's uh, a revolution. Uh, but it's not crazy. It's still in touch with reality. Like, it does take time for society to change. For example, if for uh, people to adopt internet or personal computer or smartphones, this all takes time. And the same is true with cryptocurrencies. So in 10 years, they are equally valuable as fiat. That's a realistic estimate. So this is very, very, very interesting. Um, also, uh, uh, the, 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 it's amazing how quickly this goes with this purple line. Uh, last time I made a video, the, this, this, the value was uh, 96 billion two months ago. Now, the, val the purple line is at 137 billion. So it goes up very quickly. Uh, the average value of all cryptocurrencies is... Yeah, the estimated average value is now 137 billion. That's why it's only 191% now, even though we're at 500 billion, not so far from the all-time high two months ago at 750 billion. Uh, but then 750 billion was 555% above the purple line. And now uh, 500 billion is only 191% above the purple line. Um, but um, that means that the value of cryptocurrency right now uh, is a, a, a lot better than two months ago. Even though the fiat value is not that much lower, the, the, the value at which you buy is a lot better compared to the estimated average. Uh, either you could say the, um, the fair value of crypto right now is 137 billion. Um, and, and, and 500 billion is not so much higher. It's only, well, three times higher. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's still three times higher. Um, so, so it's not a great buy. Uh, the fair value is a lot lower. Uh, it's not a good buy, actually. And it is still a good sell, because if you can sell something that's valued three times higher than the fair value, well, you're doing a great deal. I think the biggest problem here in this chart uh, is that, uh, well, we have more information. It's a pity I made some mistakes uh, last time. So, so actually, I made a video when it was exactly valued at 550% uh, <laughs> above the purple line. And I was saying that I thought it would go higher to 700, no, to 900, uh, to 800. Huh? But look, these numbers just change, you see. Last time I made this video, you see, the, 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 this uh, value there of 991%, uh, the last bubble, actually there was 1,100%. Hmm? Uh, so, uh, in last bubble, it went to 1,100% value overvaluation, that's why I thought, mm, now it will go to 700% overvaluation, but, um, uh, no, a 900% overvaluation, but as you can see, um, with the new data coming in, the purple line shifts. And so the, at the time, two months ago, th this bubble was overvalued, uh, went to an overvaluation of 1,100% in 2013. Uh, but now that the purple line has shifted up, um, the overvaluation in the bubble of 2013 was only 900 uh only thousand uh, percent so that's hundred percent less um so so yeah anyway um i think um uh, what we see here is that uh well 
the bubble has collapsed. Uh, this is now a fact. And so the question is, uh, what's most likely to happen now? Um, uh, does the co bubble continue? Uh, that is possible. Uh, we can get a third big leg up. Just like we had here two legs up in 2013, this time we could have three legs up. But is this going to happen soon? That's very unlikely because even when you get a second leg up, it took uh, six months in 2013. And if you have a, a, a second leg up in 2017, it took about uh, three months. We're now two months busy with it. No, it took longer. It took four months, eh? something like that, five months, and now we have been doing a correction of two months. So, um, um, if you look at what happened before, um, uh, if we get a third leg up, uh, it's most likely to go sideways for some time here. Um, uh, no, that's not true. It could go uh, back again. This is just really hard to tell. Uh, but what, what what's very interesting here is that the fair value of cryptocurrency will only be in two years at the same level uh, as it is today. Uh, so today it's 500 billion, but the fair value needs two years to also grow to 500 billion from the current 137 billion so um, you could just get out of the market wait two years and then um, get back in um, is this a correct thinking uh, no uh, it all depends on what, on what the value is right then it could be above the purple line or below the purple line. I think the most interesting thing about this chart is that, um, well, the best opportunities have been when prices were below the purple line, not above. And uh, and the worst, uh, yeah, the worst uh, possible uh, points of investment were when it was, uh, yeah, uh, at uh, record heights above the purple line. We just saw this happening again. So. Um, but the problem with cryptocurrency is that this purple line moves up so fast that um, that fair value, um, uh, as we see today, um, goes up fo so fast that uh, it's very hard to make a profit on on selling and then rebuying again. So you have to be very careful with that. Um, but still, um, I think um, this is a very interesting chart. Guys, uh, can you please donate to Trollolo because uh, I have the impression he's not getting any donations and basically I'm paying him every time to uh, to make a new short update. Um, uh, as uh, for me it's very important uh, but uh, many of you guys get a lot of value from that too. So I would really appreciate if you uh, donate something to him uh, as, a, as a thank you uh, for his work and uh, maybe... He will make uh, a free one next time, eh? Saving me quite some money. You can just uh, scan these things with your uh, wallet uh, and donate that way. Uh, I will also post his donation addresses in the description of the video. Um, I'd like to... Uh, oh, maybe share his opinion on the market also. I uh, hope uh, he's okay with that. I will check with him before I post this. But so he thinks that um, um, it's most likely that uh, twenty thousand uh, was the top uh, of Bitcoin, and uh, we will see a rebound up to fifteen thousand now of Bitcoin. We're already at uh, ten or eleven thousand. Eleven thousand now. Eh? Uh, so so, but but uh, but it will take uh, quite some time uh, of, of correction. Uh, before uh, we see new all-time highs and uh, he bases that mostly on the the, the, the increase here uh, from the minus 71 percent to the last uh, the, in 2016 and uh, 2017 it went from minus 71 percent 
to plus 555 percent and this rise is the same as well uh, previous bubbles uh, in, in in strength i mean uh it, it does not go as high but it also comes from deeper and this is interesting also eh? and we ha i think we have to be careful here um it may be that the, what you see is that um these things have gone deeper in the second bear market so we could in the third bear market go even deeper and minus 71 percent maybe we go to minus 100 percent this time or minus 120 percent eh? so we don't go as high and we go deeper uh, compared to the logarithmic chart eh? in uh, undervaluation that's the big risk here guys so be careful um it's true that the, the 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 purple line continues to go up very fast but it may also be that the the the, the values of cryptocurrency will go considerably lower uh i deeper uh i will go deeper Th this this one may become a very a much bigger one uh, in the next bear market eh? and so uh be careful for that uh, and also i think also stay in touch with the fundamentals here uh, this is technical but uh, the fundamentals is all about adoption you, you need people really using the coins that's the underlying value eh? they, uh, because when they use it they will store it also and keep it and not sell it but if they don't use it they will gonna sell it and this is a big problem in crypto today eh? you can't really use it uh, for anything uh, that's really um, I mean necessary except for the black markets is still the same story today this is really bad so i think um the next bear market people may really realize that crypto has not succeeded yet in really finding true adoption um for i to, to pay for stuff that you really want to pay with crypto that it, it makes financial sense um or that you really need to pay with crypto otherwise you don't have the service uh, this is um it's it's there but it's so small huh? uh, so so this is this is the the fundamentals and and if you combine this with the technicals here um yeah we could have a, a deeper a stronger bear market than we've seen ever before uh not the, uh, the fiat values will be a lot higher than previous bear market but the uh, undervaluation will can be a lot higher also just like the overvaluation has been a lot lower in this recent uh, bubble uh, but that's with the information we have now eh? um, things can change if we get a third leg up well then maybe the bubble will become um, bigger than it has ever has ever been before that's possible too eh? uh, but with the information we have right now we can see that um, the trend is going down in overvaluation and the trend is going up in undervaluation I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.